Hello fellow gaming minions, oh uh, well, and media minions across the globe. I'm doing well, in case you asked, and in case you didn't. Anyway, in any case, welcome back to my account. I am Dr. Virtual, the gaming doctor, and I humbly welcome you with humble pie to my surroundings. Looks a bit like a tip in here. Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to be covering another um, specific article which I've been having a look on. Well, only just found, to be honest. Um, let's get started, shall we? Father explains why he let his son drop out to play video games. I can only assume that's out of school or college. Judging by the look of this young man, he looks in his teen years. So I'm going to say, yeah, he's a teenager. Okay, here we go. Stories about young gamers pursuing a career in esports. Uh, esports, esports. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, earn money and stuff. That's, I think that's esports. I think it's to do with those gaming tournaments and things. I've not, I'm not too well versed on esports. I think I know of it. I know of it, but just haven't really delved right into it. I'm becoming more and more common, which isn't that surprising considering a 14 year old has managed to make six figures playing Fortnite. Goodness me. That's quite a lot of money. Just by playing that game as well. Fortnite. Hey, hey, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it. Six figures. I wouldn't complain at all. But one question that is always asked is how the parent would allow their children to drop out of a traditional school to chase such a dream. Now, David Herzog has recently explained why he let his son Jordan drop out of school to pursue a career in esports. Okay, um, well, <laughs> as a parent myself, would I let my son do that? No, I wouldn't. I do believe it's, it's fundamentally important for my son to receive proper curricular education, knowing the ins and outs of you know life itself, what's later to come during his life now, going through that sort of Kevin and Perry, you know, sexual uh, period, you know, when their hormones start to jump like crazy, maybe interested in men, women, um, the opposite sex, of course, is what I'm trying to say. They want to know about this, they want to know about that. And also, it's not just the people at school that have to do it, it's also their parents. It's interesting how, I think that the problem here is, I ain't got nothing to say about that interesting how bit. I think one of the problems here is, is that while this young man or a 14 year old has managed to make six figures, which is amazing in terms of like esports and things. If that's all that sort of child knows from then on out, yeah, well, there might be repercussions both for him and the parents. I mean, I think the problem here is patience. I mean... This father, you know, is looking at his son. If this is his son who's actually earned six figures, which is quite remarkable just playing that game, he may think, oh, why does my son need education? I don't know what he's thinking. I wouldn't mind reading through more, but I'm just offering my two cents of what I've just read just there. But I wouldn't do it as, you know, for my child, but I'd make sure that I'd be happy for him if he earned that much money, especially being a teenager. I'm like, yeah, yeah give me some money. Yeah, yeah, just me. Think I'd leave my mum out of it. <laughs> Boy, would I get a slap if I said that. Jordan, who is known as Crims, hmm, Crims, I like it, yeah, Crims, online and in Fortnite, spends anywhere from 8 to 10 hours a day playing video games while squeezing in a few hours for his online education. Okay. So it's not completely debunking his old education then, is it? Uh, that sounds pretty good. He's just getting a few hours in for some education, I suppose. I mean, granted, a lot of things that I learned in school, in secondary school mostly, I doesn't mean anything to me now. I just sort of threw that away because there's no value to my life right now, to be you know, very honest about that. Some of my time in school regarding certain things, apart from science, music, art, maths, English... Uh, PE, which is sports and stuff, and um, cooking, I think it was iTech or something, or something like that, and a few other things. Other than that, the other stuff is just nonsense to me, especially the smaller things. David has shown unrelenting support for Jordan, supporting his son by purchasing $30,000 worth of gaming equipment. <laughs> Suspending family vacations that would interfere with his son's training and even purchasing his son a Maserati with his gaming tag on his license plate. That is so nice. That is so nice. That's a lot of money. Hey, hey, as a parent, I'll do anything to make sure my son's happy, as long as it doesn't involve me going bankrupt. And, and of course, of him, like, you know, hurting people and stuff. So I'll make sure my son's got a great education and things like that. 
but thirty thousand dollars worth of gaming equipment. I can. Is this PC related? Because I can pretty much say that it is. Uh, but gaming equipment can be anything. But that's a lot of cash. Goodness me. Hmm. Thirty thousand. That's mad. That is mad. But I'm not to question it. That's his family. And that's his son. Jordan was removed from school by his father to pursue a career in esports. With the father telling, it is a path to fame, money, and prestige. Oh, don't mention the word prestige. Call the Duty fan base will go nuts at that word. I've been breeding him for this. Is his father a gamer? Hmm. If he is, whether he is or he isn't, it doesn't matter. If he sees his son happy, it sounds like he's, he noticed that his son's more happy playing video games than he is in school right now. But at the same time, schooling is important. I'm not ever going to debunk that or say that it's not. David says, explaining his and his son's decisions with David himself having a long career in and about the video game industry, claiming to have been a top 15 eBay seller in the world by flipping video games. <laughs> his current business also does considerably well by manufacturing and selling video game themed merchandise and apparel. Uh, that sounds great then. Sounds like you've got a really good um, thing going on at home with uh, your business and things in terms of selling a lot of things. That sounds good and all that. Hey, I'm not knocking it. You earn money, you earn money. Um, and video game merchandise is pretty much loved by many, many gamers all the world over, to be honest. David states that he foresaw the rise of esports before anyone else and put a controller in Jordan's hands when he was seven. Sorry, sorry, when he was three, seven. By seven, Jordan was proficient at Halo. Yeah, yeah, Halo was pretty good. At Halo. Oh, sorry, yeah. And at 12, he had won money in the local gaming tournament. See, I've never even joined one. I would have loved to have joined gaming tournaments, but you know, different lives and different paths and things. Yet David wasn't met without backlash for his decision to remove Jordan from school last year. Yes, of course, they would be backlash, and quite considerably so. I mean, no one can actually say to the school, you're being unreasonable here. Yes, there's going to be a backlash and repercussions of such things when you remove your child from school. You know, it's really important that your child attends and things. Uh, curriculum level and academically and things like that. If David was supporting and pushing his son for piano tennis, acting, or any other career that takes years to master, he'd be praised. But because it's video games, it's child abuse. Hmm, I see. Well, the thing is, I can understand there's a lot of, what's that word, controversy around video games, and is this a sort of thing? Well, the thing is now, compared to the 70s and 80s, when gaming was going for its infancy, gaming now has become like a worldwide phenomenon virtually and in people's homes uh it's been so recognized that people can actually earn a lot of money and in fact a career from actually gaming you know because not just playing in video game tournaments many people can do that but you never know this young man might make what's his name jordan might make himself a gaming company one day that might rival nintendo you never know you do not know no one can foresee the future what happens today could be this man's career in the making here. I'm not questioning that. I wouldn't say it's child abuse. I don't know, because, you see, with acting, that, that isn't without its flaws and its, you know, fan base of people hating you either. Same with piano lessons. You mess up one thing, you feel embarrassed in front of an entire audience of thousands of people. Tennis, well, you fall over, you could injure that, but that's sports for you. Acting, well, I said acting. Any other career that takes years to master, he'd be praised. Yeah, obviously, but video games have been some sort of what in the public eye for things like a teen rated age uh, games and stuff, which I don't see as different from acting because people in acting have been in things that are 18 rated as well. There's a lot of controversy and a lot of pros and cons to this decision here, but uh, yeah, I can. I don't child abuse. Doesn't that be too far? I don't know if um. Jordan actually goes with it, which I'm pretty sure he's all for it. Uh, I don't see why that's child abuse, but I might have to do a little bit more research into this. Maybe I'm not seeing the bigger picture here. Maybe I'm just thinking in smaller terms. Maybe, or maybe I'm just you know thinking that it's an all right thing if he wants it. If that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. But I do like how it brings in piano, tennis, acting, and these other things. You've got to be fair here. Gaming, you can own a career in gaming as well. You can be a games designer. You can be a music um, composer for gaming. You can 
design all sorts of things for in the gaming industry and people are looking for such things especially indie companies you know this young man could work for an indie company make a fortune and then people will look back on this article and think oh yeah do you remember when we were slagging off that family oh yeah look at him now multi-millionaire you know so um i can understand the the worries where people are concerned about what this may do to this young man but maybe this, this father's got good intentions. He's not trying to hurt his son. He just wants him to do well, you know? I'm pretty sure a lot of people would, but it's his family that really want him to do well as well because, you know, that's his blood. David also explains to those who think it's terrible for him to let Jordan play 10 hours a day that he thinks it's terrible to let your kid play football, presumably due to the dangers of the sport. To those who pushed his son to read more than he plays, David stated, my sons learn more from video games than people learn from a book. Yeah, you see, regarding people's um, learning capacity, right, not all of us learn the same way. Many of us learn in very different ways. Some of us learn by being shown. Some of us learn better by reading instruction manuals and from books. Our brains process things at very different speeds and understanding functionalities. They work at different pacings. Right? Not everyone learns the same way. Traditionally, the old way of learning that's really healthy for the brain, yes, is reading. But not everyone is comfortable and wants to do that. You know what I mean? So, again, pros and cons here. All right, and and to this way, let me see, let me just reread what I just read. Um, so people are thinking it's terrible 10 hours a day. Hmm. Well, when I was younger, I was I, I sunk quite a few hours into my gaming. Um I turned it all right. You know, people say I speak quite eloquently. I can put a coherent uh, sentence together. Um, I grew up rather well. I mean, I put quite a few hours, because I grew up with the N64, uh, the PlayStation 1, uh, the Game Boy Color, Dreamcast, love it, and other consoles at the time, which I played, uh, like Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo, brilliant consoles. Uh, the amount of hours I sucked into it, or sunk into it, should I say, I mean, I've been like 10 hours a day. I just had a few hours each and every other day and things and got on with my homework and stuff and had a good time out going to family parks. And I, I wasn't sunk in my own home, let's just say that. Well, family's home. I didn't actually own it as a kid. I'm not a billionaire from outer space. And to the school, right, and to the school that, according to David, felt better equipped than him to decide his son's future. He showed them a check with estimates of the amount of money Jordan could make after he qualified for the Fortnite World Cup. There's a World Cup for Fortnite. <laughs> I never knew that. Goodness me. Really. This game, Fortnite, has really taken people to places. It's not a game that's for me. It's not a game that's for me, Fortnite. I'm not really interested in it. In fact, when people talk about it, I'm like, nah, I don't care. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. But that's just not my cup of tea. So I won't slag it off because it's actually doing good for people. But at the same time, it's just not, not a game for me. Uh, yes, so let me just read that. No, Fortnite World Cup. Fortnite World Cups? <laughs> Goodness me, imagine not around the world every four years. Championship edition of uh, gamers around the globe just going to different countries, or a certain country has to be a certain country, playing in a massive exhibition, and Fortnite here, you know, it wouldn't like a million dollars or something. Sounds good, I might join. <laughs> David does acknowledge there are some drawbacks in the social realm. There are. However, as his son has never been to a school dance or worked a summer job, yet David believes Jordan has a major moment right now and we've got to take advantage of it. Mm. I like how you're nurturing your son's, um, how can I put it, skill set and his passion for gaming. You know, when you're nurturing it, you're not exactly saying, no, son, this is wrong. You're just letting him enjoy himself. And let, nurturing your son's love for that and obviously reminding him that, you know, it's important to have education at the same time, you know. Uh, you're actually saying, yeah, do what you like doing, you know. And we can see that you actually do good at it and you're earning money from it. You know, you're actually getting successful. If you're sunking this many hours in and you're not getting anywhere, then, yeah, you may be thinking, mm, okay, let's try and uh, calm you down, take you away from the games for a bit. But you can actually see that your son's skill set is actually getting results, so to speak. Oh, yeah, Fortnite World Cup it sounds great. Uh, buh, 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 buh. To date, uh, Jordan has made around sixty thousand dollars playing video games. Goodness me, man! 
which David intends to invest on behalf of his son. Source, Boston Globe. Oh, you're going to invest on behalf of your son. I love that. You're not taking the money for yourself. I really do love that. That's really nice of you. So this, this, this has been quite an interesting article. It's been quite a good read. I do like the fact that this young man, Jordan, he's he's doing well. He's earning a lot of money, mola, from video games. He, his success is going really well. You know, put your skill set to use. Many of us, especially in this day and age, this isn't the 1960s anymore. This isn't the 18th century. Not the 17th or 16th where people used to read from books, scrolls, or paintings, right? This is the, the digital age now a lot of people will find talent in many other different areas other than books and science they and artwork and things now the digital age video gaming is their art for young ones and old ones alike as well so it doesn't matter what your age or gender is you like video games you can make money and turn that into a, a passionate hobby and as well as a hobby maybe a career and make something of yourself can you imagine how much this young man has more than enough money to set up a business or to further the business, as I was reading before about what they were selling in terms of gaming merchandise for the family. And he could, goodness me, I can see this going places, yeah. But I'm not saying that education is not important because it is, right? Schooling is important, right, for life. And especially when you're a teenager and you're a young nursery for babies and kids and for primary school and things, it's all important, yes. Maybe this is just one of those one-off things. Remember, there's many other famous people that get famous for very different reasons. Or there's people that get success from very different reasons. For taking, I don't know, there's chances like this in life that are kind of a hit or miss kind of thing. Sometimes there's no in-between, sometimes there is. You know, it's one of those things where someone invents something new and it's a worldwide phenomenal thing like the light bulb or a musical instrument or a bike or something everyday sort of uses for things other people can learn from it and make something of it themselves this young man sounds like he's doing really well at a particular video game that's loved and hated by many and he's actually proving success with himself i ain't got no problem with that that's brilliant good on him good on you jordan yeah and good on your dad too see one for your dad and one for you jordan yeah see yeah but schooling is important, but, I'm, you know, but it's good to see, you know, as long as you keep educating your son and, you know, keeping a reminder of the important things and doing secular work or academically, yeah, yeah, no problem. I'm not endorsing anything here. I'm just offering my two cents. How do you feel about this fellow gaming minions? It's been an interesting article to read, uh, to say the least, and it's, it's all right. Yeah, nothing too bad. It got my brain juices flowing a bit. <laughs> it was actually quite an enjoyable one. Quite out of the openers too. So, you take care of yourselves, fellow gaming minions. I'll see you in my next video, or you may see me. It depends. Make sure no one's behind me with a knife. No, my partner's not here yet. She might be here this week. So, uh, I'll see you in my next video. You take care of yourselves. Have a great day. And may retro gaming live on.